This money is, uh, is too much for me. One, one trillion. I hope you, I hope that is not I hope that is all of the record. <laughs> we are not interested in regime change. Let us own this government. Those who want to protest can protest, but let us be there eating. Am I right? By the way, talk say money is the root of all evil. Now that same money near the carry persuade they greedy go fire. Una see this up babu. U this up babu. Ha the koboko we one flogger me. It go pass a kure madun. I de tell una. Because this politician, this protest on a yo they see so. They are family, they don't relocate them. Te, 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 te. They are not part of it. They are not part of it at all. Now the poor masses they suffer this hunger. It's too much. Now I think we can't beg to you, say I beg, make it come down from the IOS, make it meet to the demands of the people. The same thing with Peter Obi. Peter Obi say he's the elected president. I be now so the law talk him. People are just saying thank God say Peter Obi don't agree say and I think you be the president. What he want talk before say not be the president. He's been elected. He's there. So Peter Obi say make he also meet to the demands of the people as the elected president. But Nigerians say they don't agree again. Make Tinubu resign. Yeah, we are you. They say make it come out. It must be stopped with immediate effect. Tinubu is a killer. He's a killer. He wants to suck the blood of Nigerians and he must be stopped with immediate effect. What was the protest all about? It was supposed to be a protest to end bad governance. It was a protest to end bad governance. That is what the protest was really about. They were not saying they wanted to topple his government or his regime. It was just to end bad governance. And the point people are talking about is their hunger. People can't eat because since Tinubu came, the first thing he did was the reversal of the oil subsidy, which was already a scam. They think they call it subsidy was really not subsidy because it's a few of them that are making money out of it. And now it has come out that Tinubu is making money together with all his other corrupt politicians are making money off of us, but they are lying to Nigerians that they have been subsidizing, but it's actually not true. Nigerians came out to demand a reversal of the oil subsidy removal. The economy is down. The exchange rate, he made it at about 750, now is over 1,600. Fuel is very, very expensive. And Nigerians are saying reverse it to what it was before. Because this hike is irrelevant, is unnecessary, is fake. They are making money out of it. And now Tinubu is borrowing more money just to lavish it on themselves. And with the rubber stamp Senate, the rubber stamp House of Rep, everything that Tinubu brings, they just signed it. So these people have connived, these wicked politicians have connived against Nigerians. That's why the protest, and it was aimed to be peaceful, they even gave notice. They're talking about insecurity, talking about the state of the economy, and many of the other policies of Tinubu that are completely backward and is working against the suffering Nigerians. Nigerians are already suffering right from the time of Buhari, but he came now and has made matters worse. Nigerians are suffering now more than 10 times beyond the suffering during Buhari's time. And now that is all Nigerians said. We are coming out to protest, and it was supposed to be nothing no trouble but peaceful. Tinubu had enough notice. They should have responded. He should have come out to face the nation and spoken. What is happening now would not have happened. If he had addressed the issues and the complaints of Nigerians before the 1st of August, we will not have some of the problems we are having right now. But he's too proud because he knows if he's got power. Who is he that can remove me? Because he believes he's got the knife, he's got the meat. He is evil, he is wicked. 
he wants to destroy Nigeria completely. He doesn't mind thousands and millions dying as long as he grips that power that he said every local. This is what many of us were calling upon. Don't let Tinubu come in right from the time they stole that election. Nigeria should have stood up then, but they delayed, people delayed. They listen to people like us and they try to brainwash you and tell you that we are not the ones that want peace in the nation. Meanwhile, the wicked people, the evil politicians, Tinubu being their leader, are the ones that are against this nation. And what has happened? Now, the, the peaceful protest just started. In many places, protesters ask for permission to use stadium or to use Eagle Square in Abuja. And wicked, wicked. And I believe it's obvious that evil Tinubu plays wicked, wicked in FCT for a time like this. Because he knows wicked, wicked, he is wicked. Everything is about him. He has stolen so much money from River State, and now he's sitting in Abuja making himself like a god. God will show to you, Tinubu. God will show to you, wicked, wicked, and the rest of you, Apabio and the rest, you wicked people. All you are concerned is enriching yourself, and God is going to judge you. You think you've got power today. Power belongs to the people. People came out to protest peacefully. You never address them. Instead of Tinubu coming and telling Nigerians, I will do this, I will do this, give me time. Instead of the legislators coming in from the two uh, the different houses, coming together, putting their heads together, they decided to go on recess. Seven weeks re recess. While the nation, you know, there is fire on the mountain. But because you are selfish, wicked, evil, heartless, everything is about money. Your God is money. And God will show to you that power does not belong to the Senate, does not belong to the House of Rep, does not belong to any governor, does not belong to this diabolic person that is heartless. That is how he sent army to kill innocent young unarmed protesters at Lekki and is doing the same thing now. This protest that was peaceful, young people came out just with water. They came out with the Nigerian flag. They are not armed. They started using tear gas on them. And in many places, some were even wounded and killed. Who would you govern if you kill everybody? Mr. Tinubu, you stole the mandate. Nigerians did not go on an uproar. There was no protest. After stealing the mandate, you bribed the judges. Nigerians were quiet. So, Emi Loko, it's your turn to kill Nigerians. Only you should live. Are you going to live forever? The blood of innocent Nigerians that you have spilled is going to run after you generations from now. I don't think you will go free. What has happened in Burkina Faso? Did they ever know it will happen? What happened in Niger? Did the president know? You think that you got power? You are not God. God will show to you, you wicked people. Which kind of president are you? No wonder you became, you became a president from the back door after bribing. How many Nigerians voted for you? You went and paid people to come and protest against protest, anti-protest protesters. Where do you ever hear that? You were a master protester. Who killed you? The time you came out with Buhari, what is showing income? You said you put Buhari there. And then now you took over from Buhari so that you can kill more Nigerians. I'm telling you, now the protest is going on and it's continuing. You kill more Nigerians. You have relatives, you have family, and those of you in the police that are allowing yourself to be used, you see how they are treating you. You wear those camouflage and come up against your fellow citizens. Did you not swear to protect and to stand by Nigeria's constitution? Did you swear only to Tinubu? Did you swear to APC? Which kind of heartlessness is this? We are losing so many people daily. And now I'm hearing that the army are saying that if things continue like this, they're going to step in. Not to protect citizens, but to kill citizens. Evil, wicked, weak army. They've not been able to face insurgency. Terrorists have been there. A little forest, Sambisa, you can't overpower it. You call yourself a strong Nigerian army. Killing your fellow citizens. You are supposed to defend Nigerians. Not kill them, allowing politicians to use you. That today are here, tomorrow they are gone. And they are using money just because they appointed you. So you are talking as a zombie. Many of you in the army are like zombies. Stand up and protect Nigerians. 
Now they have killed many people. The protest just started. This is how many days now? I think today is the third day. And many people have already died. So as it continues, how many more do you want to kill? I'm asking you, how many do you want to kill? Judgment is coming upon you. Wicked, evil, selfish people, heartless people. All you think is you. Money is not everything. Killing people. Enough is enough. God will judge you, Tinubu. God will judge you, wicked, wicked. God will judge all the senators, all the people in the House of Rep, and all the politicians that are not there for the interests of Nigeria. God will judge you, wicked people, evil, killing your own citizens. Where do you hear that? America will hear the do protest nationwide. Not one person dies. The government does not send the army to kill, send the police to kill. But in Nigeria, because the lives of human beings is like nothing. Money has become the god of Nigerians, especially Nigerian politicians. The only one that can free Nigerians and is not the politician, is not the government, is not the police, is not the army, only Nigerians. These protests don't back down no matter what they do. If they want, let them kill all the Nigerians. Let them kill all the Nigerians since they want to rule graveyards. They want to rule corpses because they sacrifice blood to stay in power. They sacrifice blood so that they can make more money. You will not take money to the grave, Mr. Tinubu. You will not take all those oil wells to the grave. Akabio, you people that are saying, let the people continue to do their protest. You will go and eat. Wicked people, all you are thinking is just yourself. It's not forever. Prosperity will judge you. I don't know, I'm even just short of words. Sometimes one feel like, why is one a Nigerian? You almost regret being a Nigerian, but there should be no regret because if Nigerians are great people, it's only these wicked few politicians that have been allowed to destroy the nation and they are not going any further. This is the time every Nigerian must join this protest. Don't leave it to the innocent young people. They have already suffered enough, no job. They go to school and they are completely disadvantaged. And yet they are coming out to protest so that every Nigerian will benefit and others are folding their hands, allowing these evil politicians to bribe you, give you little money so that you can come and protest against protesters, evil people. People like Asare Dokubo, they are wicked. People like Olomo in, in Lagos and many others that are being used. Many of the people that go on the different uh, television channels uh, or radios and speak on behalf of government, they are heartless, their conscience has been seared. Their God is money, their God is their belly, and the grave will swallow them up because you are not going to live forever. This protest, watch it, watch it. There's no going back. You cannot hide from Nigerians. If you don't stop killing Nigerians, you will not live to see the end of this protest. Well, I had to just say this because as I started, I was praying, I even did a broadcast to warn the government to advise the protesters to be peaceful. And as you see, different regions, different places, the protesters went out peacefully, singing, carrying the Nigerian flag, and then tear gas everywhere. Weak, weak police that receive bribe every day. What have you been doing? Have you protected Nigerians? Now you are even allowing politicians to use you. Sell your conscience just to kill your fellow citizens. God will judge all of you. This is BOD TV Board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.